one of the reasons that I, I like to include Simon Phillips on this is that his playing has always just so impressed me. Uh, back, I guess I first heard him playing with Pete Townsend years ago and his solo stuff, and it was such an energetic and spirited way of playing with you know lovely technique and very tasteful placement of things. And then uh, I watched his work over the years and always really liked it. I'd asked him to do Dancing Men because no one else had picked it yet, and I knew I really wanted that song. So he agreed to do that, and then uh, at the end of a long, long day, he was still, you know, just, if we can just do this a couple times to get this other one. So uh, Simon definitely came in with that level of commitment organizationally to everything really well uh, organized and his approach to the band also was really well studied of introducing dynamics into the arrangement that hadn't been there before. At one point I went out and said to him, look, you're doing half my job for me because he was out producing uh, in a producer's traditional sense of working on the dynamics of the arrangement and suggesting to the players that, you know, when this phrase comes, bring this one down a little bit and then hit the next one. And, and introducing, like I said, things that weren't in the arrangements, introducing them into his vision of how to reinterpret the song. Then we'll get to F25. I think we should come down. Is there any dynamics mark there? Yeah, we're four tape. We'll come down. Let's right. start F25 Let's go down. soft. F25 right down. So that's soft. We'll make that an eight bar build up. And of course, in this place, Simon <coughs> definitely played uh, Dancing Men. Simon Phillips way, you know, he didn't try in any way other than the shape of the arrangement and the tempo and so on is faithful to the original, but uh, from there on he just took it his own way, which was certainly again what people were invited to do. This wasn't meant to be a slavish recreation by any means, it was meant to be a tribute.